Hey team, today I'm going to show you how to uh, pass over your opponent's guard using the flip over pass. Uh, first I'm going to show you guys uh, full speed from start to finish uh, on my dummy right here named Mario and then I'll break it down uh, in each of the six steps. All right. uh, this one has uh, some alternatives and I'll get into that after I finish breaking it all down. All right. This is what it looks like from start to finish. One more time. All right. Now for the breakdown. So the first thing we got to do is identify what our opponent is doing. Again, we got to do our best to work with the dummy. Uh, in this case, he's in his open guard, basically like this, right? I identify that he's in this open guard. That's step one. Step two, I got to get into my position. So I'm going to push him down and, he, and he immediately my hands go to the biceps to hold him down and then I, I scooch up. Sometimes you can scooch up with uh, one good explosive move, but sometimes you have to kind of walk up little by little. All right? Again, the goal is to squish his feet to his butt. I want to neutralize his legs. Right? If his foot is squished to his body, he can't use it. Right? If I give him too much space, he's going to be able to push me back. Right? This is called a butterfly stuff. Right? So I'm stuffing both of his butterflies, and I'm in this bulldog position. I'm right? holding him down. Uh, now, for the next three action steps, right? The first action step, I'm going to post my head and glue his feet uh, to his body using my hands. All right? So my head chooses one side, and then I remove both my hands from his biceps. And I go down to his ankles, and I'm pushing his feet into his body. All right? Head post. Glue the feet. Uh, step two of the action step. I'm going to keep my shoulder pinned into his belly. I need to have a lot of shoulder pressure on him. And then I'm going to get ready for lift off. My shoulder's in his belly. I bring my knees off the mat and I get ready for lift off. I need to kind of walk my feet over to where my head is at. That gives me space on my other side. From here, now I can load up and get ready. Awesome. Action step number three. I'm going to flip over his legs, passing his guard. And I continue to stuff the feet. I got to pull it into his body. All right? Now, to finish, now I got my top arm, tentacle, my bottom arm, starfish. All right? I like to remember the bottom arm as, uh, you know, starfish, they live on the bottom of rocks and stuff. So uh, that's one good way to remember. You want to keep your hands nice and wide so that you can control the hip, frame off on the knee, right? That way I prevent him from getting inside position. And then don't forget to scooch up. Notice how my body is on top of him and I'm staying low. Twister side control, I'm closing up all the space. All right? Nice and tight, guys. All right, my opponent is playing this open guard. I identified it. Step two, push him down, hands on the biceps, and I butterfly stuff. This is my starting position. Action step number one, head pose, glue the feet. Action step number two, shoulder pressure, get ready for lift off. Action step number three, I flip over their guard, when you guys land, I forgot to mention this, but you want to keep your hips up nice and high. I don't want to be on my butt. 
All right? If I do this, that's going to transfer all my pressure into my shoulder, and uh, it's going to enable me to hold my opponent down. All right? So I flipped, uh, I flipped over their guard, and I continue to push their feet into their body. All right? Step, uh, the last step is to finish. Top arm, tentacle, bottom arm, starfish. I go over the top of my opponent, starfish tentacle, close up the space, and I back up into my twister side control. All right? Uh, the difficult part for this move, probably the, the, the most difficult part is the actual uh, pass where you flip over. When I'm here, I'm holding the feet, I'm gluing it to his butt, and I'm getting ready for liftoff. I like to bend my knees a little bit to load up. A lot of times, uh, people will fall down on their butt. Again, make sure you guys are bridging up. All right? When the finish looks like a normal bridge, guys. We've done this bridge uh, pretty much every day during class. All right? When I bridge up, my hips are up, my belly is up, and I'm on my shoulder. That's how I finish, except now I'm holding somebody's feet. So I recommend if, if you guys are having problems with that uh, section, just continue to reset, get back to here. Get back to here, load up, boom. Reset. Boom. And hit this multiple times. That's how we can um, section off one of the moves. We identify it as um, as coaches, as observers, and we get our students just to focus on that one area. And that's how you guys get really good. Mm. Yeah, I think I covered it all. Um, Again, if you guys have questions, comments, let me know uh, on YouTube or on Discord and uh, write them all down so that when we have our, our Zoom meeting, um, I can better help you guys out. All right? I hope you guys have fun with this one, passing over uh, passing over your opponent's guard with the flip over. All right? Bye, guys.